Hey what's up guys, my name is Charlie, today we're going to be reacting to some more Nostalgia Critic and it's going to be the old versus new Karate Kid. Oh Jesus, we're going to need a doctor. Thankfully I've got some Dr. Pepper for this one. Um, yeah. Uh, the new Karate Kid had uh, Jaden Smith, I believe. Um, and I gotta say, I'm not a great fan of Jaden Smith's performance in movies. Every time he's in a movie, it's always fucking god-awful. Um, so, comparing the old classic Karate Kid to the new one, I'm scared. Because the old is amazing, it's a classic, uh, it's just incredible. You can't go wrong with the old classic first Karate Kid movie. Uh, but the new one with Jaden Smith... Oh god, it was bad. Um, the only reason why I would give it a point in a positive way, the new one with Jaden Smith, is it had Jackie Chan in it. Jackie Chan is the shit. Jackie Chan is incredible. Just his name alone just fucking rises the bar five up. I mean, just his name. Uh, just automatic points. Because um, <laughs> it's fucking Jackie Chan. You don't fuck with Jackie Chan. Uh, but uh, yeah. We don't fuck with Chuck Norris either, or Bruce Lee. Um, but uh, for me, Karate Kids, um, the new one with Jaden Smith, I, I would give it a miss. I mean, if it didn't have Jackie Chan in it, can you imagine if it was just the new Karate Kid uh, with just Jaden Smith and it didn't have Jackie Chan in it? Would you really watch it? Would you really watch it? Would you really sit down and watch a movie with Jaden Smith in it? No, not really. Uh, the only reason why you would watch it is because it's the Karate Kid, the new one with its name. Um, but he was also in some other movies as well, I believe. Uh, what was it? Uh, the Pursuit of Happiness. That was good. Um, that was a good movie. So Jaden Smith gets a point on that movie. But then again, how old was he? He was like four or five years old. I can't remember. Maybe six. I can't remember. But he was pretty young. Uh, and, you know, you don't really have to act when you're young unless you're in like the Sixth Sense movie or something like that. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, also, he was in the Daily Earth, so still, I believe, uh, Kanavu Reeves was in that or something like that, um, and then it was the god-awful movie After Earth, that was perhaps one of the worst, um, worst movies I've ever watched with Will Smith in it, uh, with, obviously, with his son, uh, Jaden Smith, that has to be the worst movie, uh, with Will Smith and, um, Jaden Smith in it. But yeah, he doesn't really have a good track record. So, yeah, I just want to get that out of the way before we play the video. Okay, uh, enough talking. Let's play the fucking video. I'm really regretting this now. Let's go. Hello, oh, fucking Jaden Smith. Guy. Remember it, oh. so you don't have to. And welcome to another rendition of Old vs. New. <laughs> I know why it's called After Earth the movie, because it's Has after a beer. Has wax off ever really taught anybody karate? What did for this idiot? True, I did. <laughs> karate kid. I did a bit of karate when I was young. I think I was a yellow belt or something, a star. David, who moved from Jersey to the Valley and keeps getting his ass whooped by a group of karate experts named Cobra. Cobra! <laughs> Kai. Oh. Well, could you ever do an old versus new with us in the G.I. Joe movie? The movie loses. Awesome! Oh, thank God anyway, for Dr. Pepper. He comes across a man named Mr. Miyagi, who teaches him karate and enters him in a Bad tournament movies. to fight the bullies under crazy fucking This is a good movie, classic. This is a karate dojo, not a knitting class. <laughs> yeah, a knitting class. Of course, Daniel wins, and they live happily ever after through <laughs> oh, three boy. more sequels. Third one was fourth. Karate Kid was dreadful. Would that would not only be Third one was bad, but as good as you can get original. away with it. I am, of course, talking about the Karate Kid. Cartoon. <laughs> The Karate Kid cartoon. Oh, is he talking about the cartoon? Oh hell yeah, Daniel and Mr. Miyagi are traveling the world to save the shrine. Look at this, they got motorcycles, airplanes, Amazon gods. He's even walking on a fucking <laughs> torpedo. Blow some shit up. Oh yeah. I never knew there was a Karate Kid cartoon. And I, I, I mean, I thought he was gonna review the new movie. Actually, that show was stupid, but they came out with another movie. 
Like oh yeah, <laughs> here we go. I thought he was actually going to review like a cartoon. I was going to really look Daniel fucking Jackie stupid talking about Jaden Smith Miyagi. at the beginning of the video. It sounds more like a satirical sketch than it does an actual movie. That's Jaden Smith was in the code. <laughs> it was actually a well put together film. It I didn't enjoy it. It's like the original, but it actually managed to be passionate, dramatic, and still stay true to the original source material while being its own creation. Yeah. Who would have thought? But we're not here to glorify hmm. movies. Actually, we sort of are. But we're mostly here to compare. Which one of these movies got the job done better? The iconic original or the new reimagining? Which one had more drama, more heart, and kept a better balance? What's the better movie that everybody wax off to? Oh, it's boy. Like that. That's this so is old wrong. versus new Karate Kid. Yeah, I've got to disagree with Nostalgia Critic here. The, the new one wasn't good for me, so that's his opinion. If he enjoyed it, good for him. He's got money's worth. But I didn't enjoy it, I'm sorry. I gotta disagree with him right away. No fucking way did I enjoy the new one. I felt like it was just so unnecessary. What way to start off the Karate Kid than by looking at... The Karate Kid. <laughs> this is the best... Karate Kid. Now both these actors do a good job representing Daniel their character LaRusso, and their I believe age the character range. Name they're is. both tough, but sensitive too. They're not super strong, but they never back down from a fight. Mm. And they're both charming and cocky, but also <laughs> know when to shut up and focus. In the original, Daniel, played by Ralph Macchio, moves from Ralph Jersey Macchio. to the valley and has a hard time... I believe there's a, uh, like a truth, Cry no, Kids series on YouTube. It sucks for me. I, hate I haven't watched them yet, but I, I want to watch them. With Dre, played by Jaden Smith, he moves from one side of the world to the other. Hmm. So I guess you could argue he has a little bit more to complain about. Yeah. We've been here less than a week and I feel, I feel like it's a year. I, I just... I hate it here! See, this is right here. I don't I like go. it. I just... But nevertheless, I just don't like it. it. It's just not for me. The you could also make the argument that because Smith is younger, you'd I just see a kid whinging and bitching. Like I am. I'm whinging and bitching, but... But then again, it's pretty hard no to watch emotional Macho connection. get his ass kicked too. So I don't know, which one actually leaves a deeper impact? Well, if I had to the choose, original. of course I do, I have to say Macho. <laughs> yes, fair, thank you, the I think a critic. lot of that has to deal with his age. When you're a little kid, it's common to get in fights, and if you lose, well, you're a kid. It mm. sucks, but you're still allowed to look weak at that age. And if anything, it's kind of cool that you were in a <laughs> fight to begin with. No other kid's gonna fuck with you. But Machio is in high school, a point where standing up for yourself and acting like a man is a much bigger deal. Mm. If you fight when you're a kid, it's still sort of okay when a parent or teacher comes in to fix the matter. When you're a teen, that shit goes right out the window. Yeah. Your pride suddenly costs a the lot original more is the best. It. I think because of that, Machio has a lot more to prove, and his struggle is much more painful and identifiable. Mm. He wants to be left alone, but not at the cost of his dignity, and he's yeah. willing to fight to defend who he is. Smith does this too, but like I said, it's, it's a different just, age. Yeah, it's if not this kid right. was beating on me at that age, I'd be like, dude, mom, there's a fucking crazy Asian kid <laughs> who looks like a psycho. He knows kung fu, and I am scared shitless. Do something! In <laughs> high school, you have no choice. You yeah. gotta fight. You gotta thus, fight. Daniel seems much stronger and more. Determined. You gotta defend yourself. I also have to school. admit, it is refreshing to see a movie. Don't let people Jersey fucking pull out knives on your asshole. ass. Okay, yeah, I make fun of Jersey every once in a while, but even I know that not every person that comes from there is totally nuts. It's nice to see an actual positive Jersey role model. You know, outside of. Leave me alone. Get out of my face. <laughs> no, shut your mouth. Yeah. You dirty little hamster. You look like Popeye and Crap. Sorry, you little hamster. Oh, that show rapes me. <laughs> oh, God. I what the, the hell was that? that, was that? Is sort of Big Brother. Like I don't know what the fuck was that. This. Sure. It always seems like he's one step away from being an evil jerk himself. He always mm. walks that fine line. Like he yeah. can turn to the dark side of He can moment, be jerky, but, that but that's what I like him about him. He is a good guy, wants to stay yeah. a good guy, and is willing to put his balls on the line to prove it. Mm. Not only does this make him more interesting, but it makes him a better role model and a better character. Mm. Smith, you did great, but Daniel-san is the more engaging <laughs> hero. Yeah. Point goes to the old. Oh, that's great. Point, yep, fuck, on. yes. Absolutely beautiful. I totally agree with Nostalgia Critic right here. Fucking okay. finally. There are no bad students, only bad teachers. And what kind of teacher makes his student paint a fence while learning karate? <laughs> Come on, the, it's tradition. It's the family tradition, I'm guessing. Best teacher. Indeed, well, this 
Mr. Miyagi Jackie has Chan, the iconic come on image it. of the old wise martial arts teacher. I can't teacher. choose between them. It's really fucking Jackie Chan. Old, wise martial arts teacher. So again, this is a pretty close call. Mm. In many ways, Miyagi is much more deceiving because he looks older and yeah, shorter. Yeah, but he kicks ass dead. every time he's Jackie on screen. He fucking like, roasts well, everyone. So his challenge is a little greater to be visually deceiving. But they overcome that very carefully with the attitude mm. they gave him. He's wise, yes, but he's also sort of a lost soul. I thought you were just a maintenance man. You sing only with your eyes, so you are easy to fool. He was destined for great <laughs> things, but chose not to follow it because of something painful that happened in the past. Mm. Miyagi is actually content with where he is and likes where he lives. Well, he has his bonsai he trees. Has a very sad so. too. But there is a lot of weight in having Jackie mm. Chan be in your kung fu movie. For example, when Chan's character, Mr. Han, actually talks about Kung Fu, it's pretty obvious he knows what he's talking about because Jackie Chan is playing him. You know it's fucking Jackie Chan, so he knows thing. this shit. In the remake, it's code on code off as opposed to wax on wax off, but Mr. Han actually explains why he used this method to teach him. Mm. Kung Fu lives in everything we do, Xiao Zhui. True. He lives in how we put on the jacket, how we take off the jacket. And lives in how we treat people. Mm. Everything is kung fu. Mr. Miyagi, on the other hand, never explains why he had Daniel wax his cars and paint his fence. Yeah. yeah. It's teaching him karate, but why the hell didn't he just, oh, I don't know, teach him karate? Because I don't think he would understand. If he has to ask, then. He I mean, think wouldn't about it. Understand? It fools Daniel as well as the audience, but he never actually explains why. Mm. Why did he teach him this Maybe way for a reason. Showing him the moves? Maybe patience? Do you think Daniel ever came to that realization? Maybe hey, he was Miyagi, teaching him patience? Because sometimes you have to have show patience karate. when you fight. Yeah, but why you, you gotta just show me the moves instead of having me paint your fence? You gotta learn to keep on your temper, you know, karate. keep control. I don't know, I'm just making this shit up, but And why'd you have me wax the car? Oh, two for one deal! Let's look at the backstories. Mr. Miyagi lost his wife and son while she was giving birth. He yeah, was sad. unable to see her because he was in the army. Regret to inform you. Wife, son, complication of birth. Oh, boy, that was painful to hear. With Mr. Han, he lost his wife and kid because he was driving the car and got into an accident. So that places even more guilt on him because he was actually the cause of their deaths. Mm. I was driving. I argue about something. I was so angry. <laughs> I lost control. I cannot remember what are we arguing about. But then again, you're talking to a kid. You're talking to like a six-year-old, eight-year-old kid. This explains why he's I such can't a feel connected. To if it was standing on a roof, so I never could. never seemed like a concrete reason why to have that tragic history. Maybe the idea is that Daniel is the closest thing to a son he ever had, yeah. but even then, that's a little vague. It's ironic because I should like Mr. Miyagi more because he's much more confident and wise. Mm. But honestly, Mr. Han is the more interesting character. It's one of the few times I didn't see Jackie Chan in a performance. And I sort of forgot that he actually can do drama. He's done it in the past and can do it quite well if in the right movie. But aside from that, Mr. Han is more complex and has more weaknesses. I can't choose. I can't choose. They're so both great. <laughs> In the original, I can't, he was very I can't. much teacher taught student. Mr. Miyagi is amazing and Jackie each Jazz each amazing. I can't choose between them. Don't make me choose. Plus, Mr. Han can hold fucking fire in his hand. Oh, that's pretty that's cool. Awesome. Again, then again, Mr. Miyagi could Mr. break Han ice with his hand. Allowing for a he lot could more strength and heart smash to be shown and Point goes to the new. I think and he can hammer much. a nail you. with one hit, so. I won't disagree with this because they're both great. So fuck it, I'll let that slide. Do these guys even need an introduction? I mean, they're Karate Kid villains. They should practically have their own movie. <laughs> We're gonna look at them right now. Okay. Yeah, it's not the same. I don't care about the kids. All right, I've gone on and on about the crazy karate teacher from the first movie and what an enjoyable nut he is. Yeah, he's a pushy awesome. little bastard, ain't you? But I like. <laughs> but I, I like that. Yes, yes, very clever, old man. The ball is in your court now, but after the tournament is over, it is I who will possess the golden trophy, making me the chalices the in the palace. In the... Next to the wall, green but it's true, but it's true. I can't remember it. The chalices in the palace in the palace of the chalice said to be true. I can't remember it. I love that movie. Really. The main bully who picks on Daniel is just sort of your run of the mill jerk. 
The remake, on the other hand, switches it around. In the new film, it's the teacher that's just sort of the run-of-the-mill jerk, and the student that seems totally batshit insane. I mean, look into his eyes. He's fucking nuts. <laughs> Clearly, these two should have been switched around. The Asian kid should have been with the American teacher, and the American student should have been with the Asian teacher. That way, these two could have their very own reality show, Mercy's a Penis. Mercy's a Penis! But I digress. Which of these I are enjoy their the better films? Well, it all depends on how you look at it. If you're going for what's memorable, the original's got Memorable, it yeah. I mean, you're he was just never gonna bad forget ass. these guys, they're so over the top. <laughs> I can't hear you! But if you're going for Fucking what's actually hell, menacing, back to the my cry new villain would probably come closer. Fucking ruthless. Not that the other villains didn't have threatening moments, but they're just so many silly moments that keep sucking you out of it. The teacher in the remake is a little bit more interesting because you get the feeling he has it out more for the teacher, <laughs> not the student. He's always calling the student a thing. He means very little to him. From now on, no one will not be afraid of any things until the Wushu Games. Wow. Do you understand? No! I think he's more interested in showing Mr. Han that his methods are better and stronger, and that anyone who questions it is going to get their ass handed to them. <laughs> in the original, I don't know what this guy's problem is. He's just a fucking asshole who wants to start a fight because... He likes he's competition. A and it's open season. Yeah, he likes competition. He wants to brag about how fucking good he is. And you. <laughs> Don't add that music. Come on, it's a classic. To be fair, it is a bit more rewarding to see the. The Karate Kid is the original. Is one of my favorite movies, by the way. So that's why I'm very sensitive. In the remake, I keep thinking the kid is gonna steal it for himself. It's one of my favorites. Ha ha, mine, bitches. So to that film's credit, it's pretty fucking awesome when all the teacher students bow to Mr. Han. Look at that face. That's pure friggin' gold. <laughs> Tough call, but I am gonna go with the new version. No! These nuts, even I have to admit, they're hard to take seriously. Of Come that's on, part of fun, but don't I go don't for the new one. Of the the, the original was classic. Threat. And martial arts masters from China are a little bit more legitimate than martial arts I masters guess, from a dojo next but... to a grocery store. Point goes to the new. But I like that. <laughs> I like that. But... Attitude. <laughs> I disagree. I'm sorry. I disagree. But then again, the classic is but my favorite. So I am biased. Movie, and luckily, there's a good supporting cast to show. Mm. I like the original. I guess we should start with the mothers, as they probably play the biggest role next to the main heroes and villains. The one in the original is pretty cool. She's loving, but also. But has she's a not tough really a lot attitude. there. She's not really a lot in the movie. You want to see her a couple of times. Good. Because we probably couldn't afford it anyway. <laughs> you can tell she's from Jersey, and mm. she definitely shows the stronger sides of it. Very frank and loud, but also very honest and giving. Hiding doesn't solve anything. Oh, well, neither does palm trees, Ma. Fair coming out here without asking me how I felt about it, right? That was really fair. You're right. I should have asked. Mm. You can definitely tell these two are mother and son and get along really well. Mm. The mother in the new film is not as strong. I mean, yeah. sure she's loving and caring, but at but times, no she sort of seems like an airhead. She's always either screaming for joy over mm. little things or nagging her son to hang her coat up. For the 100th time, can you please pick up your jacket? One second, Mom. No! Come pick it up now! God, how many times do I have to ask you? I'm sorry, what was that? Nothing. Okay, just what I thought, nothing. I'm probably being too harsh on her, but I guess in comparing her to the other mother, she just doesn't seem as supportive. Yeah. How about the girlfriend? They're both supportive in the generic yeah. movie girlfriend sort of way. It's generic. Both nice and want to see their boys do well. I guess if I had to choose, though, I'd probably go with the original. Again, probably the age thing as little children don't have much control over what their parents say. Mm. But even when the original is forced to be with the bully she doesn't like, mm. she gives him a good punch in the jaw. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Ouch. This yeah, one also ouch. just looks sad in the corner. So I guess logically the advantage yeah. has to be given to her. This is How about the other supporting More games? of a connection. That's about it. Mm. I mean, you have some brief characters, but they disappear pretty fast, and all the other important people are, well, dead. So I guess it's just the girlfriend and the mother. Yeah. And seeing how I like both from the original, I guess the point goes to the old. Huh, yeah, that was easy. Good. Mm. What do you want me to do? Wax <laughs> on. Good. I agree. Nostalgia critics got another point on my approval. Fucking right, Once the again, original. It's all tied up, and it comes down to the most important factor: the story. Story, the definitely the original. 
I mean, you can't take it serious, the new cry Kid, because it's just all full of, of course, kids, the original young. Is the classic coming of I mean, sports movie, and the remake does well to keep faithful to the material while still at least the old classic was a teenager sort of experience. Original, are they just messing up a classic? But it's too First young all, for me than the, the new flaw. one. Is. The fact that the it's original like teaches aimed karate at children. and the remake teaches kung fu. Well, then why the hell isn't it called the Kung Fu Kid? Mm. You're calling it karate even though karate <laughs> has nothing to do with it. It's like calling a movie Brazil when it has nothing to do with Brazil. Okay, bad example. But the point remains. If it's called Karate Kid, you better show some freaking karate. Mm. Kung Fu's awesome, but it's just misleading. How about the fact that it's in China and not in the valley? <laughs> well, aside from the fish out of water story having a bigger impact seeing how it's further across the world, it does allow for a lot of pretty imagery, and on top of that, when you hear about the origins of Kung Fu, it is nice to actually see the origins of Kung Fu. What about the relationship between the student and teacher? Both do very well in showing the friendship, and mm. you can feel the bond is very strong with both of them. Like I said before yeah, though, both the films classics. talk about balance, and in the new movie, there seems to be a lot more of that going on. The student helps the teacher through his problems just as much as the teacher helps the student. This also works with that clever metaphor with the woman controlling the snake. Is she controlling the snake? Is the snake controlling her? Or are they working <laughs> as one? This comes back again when Shan and Smith are working with each other after he beats the car. It's pretty cleverly handled. Speaking of which, let's talk about that big final fight scene. In the okay. new film, Smith uses the understanding of his enemy to his advantage, using the elements of control and being one to ultimately win the battle. <laughs> That's both psychology and physical force that wins the day. I In guess. the original, it said that there's a move you can do where, if done right, no one can block it. Called brain technique. Does it work? If do right, no can defense. Uh, bullshit. That's a jump kick, and it's very easy to block. And even mm. if you take that out of it, you feel like the kid understood both the philosophy and the technique of Kung Fu much more I... with this ending than you did with the original. Gotta I mean, agree. It's there, but <laughs> I gotta agree. Shit. You feel like Even though I don't want to. But the big deciding point for me was this. Fuck, I gotta agree I with that. that Even though I don't like it. Don't work in the new I gotta swallow it. <laughs> they had to carry it over I gotta fucking swallow this Dr. Pepper instead. The typical bullies, the over the top villains, instead of the swallowing my pride. Apart just so they can get back together uh. again. If you took these cliches out and just made it about a kid who wanted to understand Kung Fu from a wise master while also adjusting to his social life, this probably would have been a stronger movie. Mm. I mean, it's good, but it would have been better. It's yeah. the cliches of the original that holds it back. And while the cliches of the original are great and fun to laugh at, they are still very overused cliches, even for back then. Mm. At times, the original is good. so good it almost good seems real. A lot of the conversations they have seem very warm and out of everyday life. But at the same time, you have those incredibly overused <laughs> characters and movie moments that constantly suck you out of that reality. While they're entertaining, they're still distracting. The new film knows it's a movie. It never tries to be real life. Because of that, it never oversteps its bounds. Hmm. It keeps the balance much better. So, by definition, the new film must be the superior picture. No. It knows more what it is and what it's trying to accomplish. No. There's certainly a passion to the original that the new film never quite meets as strongly. But it's still jumbled with over-the-top <sighs> scenes that, frankly, makes it inconsistent. This film is consistent. Yeah, it I, tone, I know it tells a story, it knows it what it is. It, Even though the original, but I disagree. Most the original the is known, more superior. It's this film that seems more carefully put together, and when you get down to it, it's the better movie. So oh, the winner shit. by just a little bit is the new Karate Kid, the superior film. Oh bullshit! I'm going home. Bullshit! That is bullshit. The original is far superior. No fucking way is it the winner. Fuck off. So thanks for joining me, I hope you had a lot of fun, and... Oh, excuse me, I have quite a few Karate Kid cartoons to catch up with. Yeah, no, I disagree with Nostalgia Critic, fuck him. Fuck him. The original is much more superior. Mm -mm. <laughs> I absolutely wholeheartedly disagree. The original is way superior. It may not have wanted to know what it was about, but it was superior in every way. Apart from the part with Jackie Chan, it's Jackie Chan so he also really gets a point for that. I never knew there was a cartoon series for the Karate Kid. It's very fascinating. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs>
Mercy's a penis! Oh, jeez. Okay, that's the end of the video. Um, yeah, I'm sorry guys, I gotta disagree. I'm sure you may agree with Nostalgia Critics. They are, you know, just because it's the original doesn't mean it's superior. But it is one of my favorite uh, movies, the original Karate Kids. Maybe I am biased. Uh, maybe just because that's the original, because it's the original, you know. Um, probably I am being biased, but it is the original, I mean, fucking Mr. Miyagi, um, Daniel LaRusso, you know, it may not know what it wants to be, and but it is superior in every single way possible, apart from when Jackie Chan's a mentor, because he's totally awesome, um, but also, he's also uh, awesome, uh, Mr. Miyagi, so it's hard to choose, but i got to disagree with Nostalgia Critic, I'm sorry, this is just bullshit, um, I find that the um, new Karate Kid is absolutely dreadful for me and I'm sure it's nice and it's not as bad for you guys but the reason what really puts it off for me um, not just because Jaden Smith's in it um, I think one of the reasons is uh, it's just that it's just all young actors you know it doesn't feel uh, like a connection I mean th there are a bunch of like eight-year-old kids and I just can't feel emotionally attached to it I mean, we've all been very young, uh, where we were bullied at a young age, but that really doesn't matter because that flies by. You know, when Daniel LaRusso, um, in his teenager years, that felt more of a connection because I think we've all struggled with uh, those sort of bullies um, in sort of like our teenage years. Um, it's sort of through high school. So that's why I feel more of a connection with the original. Because I think when we see ourselves in that movie, we can see ourselves in the original. Um, but as for the new one, I just I just can't enjoy it. it, it too, it's too young. It's like it's aimed at young people, you know. Like if I was, if I was 8 years old or 10 years old and I watched the new Karate Kid... Um, yeah, that would be, I would enjoy it probably because it's aimed at my age, but because the original was a teenager and it aimed at my age, because when I watched it, I was a teenager, so, yeah, that's why I strongly disagree with Nostalgia Critic here, I hopefully I explained myself uh, a little bit better on that one, um, but it, the old classic has more of an emotional connection for me. Uh, it was the first Karate Kid I saw. It, well, it was the first one. Um, but it it has a special connection. Don't get me wrong. Uh, the new Karate Kid gets a point because it had uh, Jackie Chan in it. And Jackie Chan's fucking amazing. He can make any movie amazing. Um, even bad movies. <laughs> what was that movie? The Medallion or something like that? That movie was uh, pretty good, even though it's considered bad. I love that movie, The Medallion. Um, who who else was it? Well, uh, Lee Evans was in as well, uh, but we're getting off track here. But uh, yeah, the new one a point because it had Jackie Chan in it, and it's the only reason why I would watch the new one is because to see Jackie Chan's performance. If the new movie didn't have Jackie Chan in it, you wouldn't watch it. Would you truly watch it? Like I said at the beginning of the video, if it was just the new Karate Kid starring Jaden Smith, would you really rush out to immediately watch it? No, of course not. Um, well, maybe you're a Jaden Smith fan, but I'm not, uh, because he has a terrible track record when it comes to movies. Um, I mean, The Pursuit of Happiness was a good movie. Uh, the Day of the Day the Earth Stood Still, eh, it was all right. Fuck it. Um, you know, he was in that. Uh, After Earth, God no, uh, terrible performance. So, like I said, he has a ter sort of record for bad movies. Hopefully, you'll make a new movie, and maybe he can prove me wrong uh maybe he will make a new movie where uh he stars in something and it, his performance is just wonderful and it doesn't need famous actors like jackie chan to support his role you know i want to see him take control i want him to wow me i want him to sort of um act without someone else being in the movie that's famous because every time 
he's in a movie, there's always someone famous in the movie to back him up, support him. For an example, The Pursuit of Happiness had Will Smith in it. Uh, the Daily Earth, uh, the Steel had a Kanavu Reeves or whatever the hell you pronounce his name. John Wick. We all know him as fucking John Wick. Um, and, you know, After Earth had Will Smith again in it. Uh, so he always has someone to back him up. Always a famous actor. Like, uh, you know, the Cry Kid, the new one, uh, Jackie Chan. There's always someone to back him up. Like, oh, you got to watch this because it has someone else in it. But if it was a standalone movie with him in it and he did a fabulous job, I could go for it. I can give him a point. I could say, hey, that's not bad. You've actually got some skill. Your acting skills are absolutely great. You didn't need any famous actors. You, you know, you absolutely sold it yourself through your experience. And I, I could really give it a point. But like I said, because fam other famous actors are in it, it draws the attention away from him. And that's why I don't like him. Because I don't think he's a sort of amazing actor. Maybe you like his music. Go for it. Enjoy it. But he's not for me. This guy is not for me. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry if I roasted Jaden Smith. I'm sure uh, he doesn't deserve the lot of hate I'm giving him right now. You know, he's young, you know, all that stuff. Um, but uh, I've seen better acting like The Sixth Sense with, um, you know, you know, that movie was just <laughs> I see dead people. He was a fucking better actor. You know, he was a, he was groundbreaking. I mean, I don't know if that kid won an Oscar or something, but I, I think even the fucking volleyball um, in uh, Castaway was a better actor than Jaden Smith. I mean, he won awards. I believe that <laughs> volleyball actually won awards uh, for being an actor. <laughs> it was so bizarre. I think uh, the volleyball actually has its own page on IMDB, uh, whatever you call it. He actually has his own page, the volleyball. <laughs> it's so awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, this video is dragging on. Let me end it here for you guys. So if you like this video, make sure to give a like, comment down below, make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>